welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i discuss mean and variance of gamma distribution how to calculate mean for this uh, i first of all explain uh, cumulant generating function these are two three steps the cumulant generating function of uh, gamma distribution it is calculated by kxt is equal to log mxt what is uh, mxt the moment generating function of gamma distribution it is 1 minus t whole power minus lambda so in which if you consider it is uh, going to be expressed as is equivalent to be minus lambda log 1 minus t because log m power n we can express as n log m that is log 1 minus t whole power minus lambda it is going to be expressed as minus lambda into log 1 minus t hence minus log 1 minus x the formula is x plus x square by 2 plus and so on therefore i consider lambda multiplied by minus log 1 minus t is equal to t plus t square by 2 plus t cube by 3 plus and so on uh, i close the bracket right so therefore the, the cumulant generating function is kxt is equal to lambda into t plus t square by 2 plus t cube by 3 plus and so on plus t power r by r, r plus and so on so therefore now we have to calculate mean and variance through the cumulant generating function as we know from the cumulant generating function first cumulant k1 is equal to mu1 dash it is equal to mean the first cumulant is mean how to calculate this coefficient of coefficient of t power 1 by 1 factorial that is t coefficient of t in i write clearly in kxt in the cumulant generating function coefficient of t coefficient of t which gives mean that is first cumulant so here it, you see in this particular this is what the cumulant generating function so in which you have to calculate the coefficient of t what are the terms of t you see first t this is the only the term t t into lambda that's so lambda into t the what is the coefficient of t that is lambda so therefore mean of the gamma distribution is lambda so mean is equal to lambda for gamma distribution next so you calculate k2 that is second cumulant it is variance by the definition of the cumulant and the properties of cumulants we know k2 is second cumulant that is uh, second cumulant is variance it is variance it is mu2 what is this it is coefficient of coefficient of t square by 2 proctorial in kxt coefficient of t square by 2 proctorial in kxt now, now again you see here what is the term uh, of t square this is t square by 2 into lambda so lambda into t square by 2 2 proctorial is 2 into 1 that is 2 so therefore this is 2 t square by 2 proctorial the coefficient is lambda so therefore it is equivalent to be lambda therefore it is equivalent to be lambda that is variance of uh, uh, gamma distribution is also lambda therefore we can state another property that is another important uh, property which leads mean is equal to variance of gamma distribution so one such uh, continuous distribution for which uh, mean is equal to variance is gamma distribution of course we have another discrete distribution also mean is equal to variance it is called it is a uh, uh, poisson distribution here mean is equal to variance uh, continuous distribution is gamma distribution so there are two distributions mean is equal to variance 
one for discrete one for continuous for discrete it is poisson for continuous it is a uh, gamma distribution hope you understand this is what the calculation of mean and variance of gamma distribution thank you